What's up, brothers and sisters, and everybody in the YouTube world? <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. I can see it already. It's, it's about to be one hell of a day, and it's just got started. And um, I was just kicking back, and it seems like the best subjects just knocked me in the head out of nowhere it, it, those are the best ones the ones that I try to think of don't have that much merit but the ones where I'm just kicking back eating a sandwich or something or I'm watching TV or something then just it falls on me like a ton of bricks so this is what hit me this morning I said you know what I want to make a video for those brothers that say they can't find a good black woman. Instead of me arguing the point or having a debate on black women's attitudes or whatever you want to call it, I think I just might spin this video giving y'all some directions to where to find the good black women. But first of all, let me start off where the wrong places to look for a black woman. The wrong place is the places where you know good women don't hang out at. So we're going to start out with number one. The first place not to look for a black woman is in the club. The reason why I say that is this. If you are in the club and you having a good time and you are drinking and you and this sister hook up and next thing you know, you guys are at the house doing the bump and grind. On the first night. You feeling her, she feeling you, and y'all get it on, and the sex was good, and she called you back and say it was the bomb. That's not your potential wife. That's a potential booty call. Now, brothers get it mixed up when we try to make that booty call into a wife. That's where we mess up at. Because we want that wife to be that freak, to be that girl we fantasize about when we go to the club and she's doing all these extra tricks and stuff that the average woman can't do. See, most brothers want to wife that chick. Knowing she's not the kind of sister that you can wife, but you're going to try it anyway because we're hard-headed like that. We're knuckleheads when it comes to women. But we want to try it anyway. And then after that fails, we keep on trying it. We keep on trying to wife that bad sister with the bad, 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 bad booty and the small little waist and the pretty smile and end up getting broken hearted over and over and over and over again. Then all of a sudden, hmm, I don't think I want to date sisters no more. Never taking into account that maybe you just had some bad damn judgment. Or maybe you just don't know how to pick a damn woman. I mean, have that ever just dawned on you? Have that ever just like hit you out of nowhere? Like, maybe I just don't know how to pick a damn woman. Or maybe... Hmm, maybe I'm just looking in the wrong damn places. Well, let's get to number two. Number two is you can't meet a good black woman at a bar. Because if you do, most likely she's drinking because she done been through a lot of things in her life. And she got a lot of baggage in a lot of problems, if you know what I mean. And maybe she's there drinking because 
She's trying to forget some bad things that happened in her life. But you want to go console her. Because why? She got that bad, 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 bad body. And you see her over there sitting by herself and she's drinking. And you're like, damn, she look good. Why is she over there drinking by herself? Then you go over there and you talk to her. And all of a sudden, you guys strike up a conversation. Everything's going good. And next thing you know, you get her number. You call her up. You hook up. And next thing you know, you guys are in the bedroom. Drinking, of course, because you met her drinking in the bar so most likely you guys will sit down and have a few drinks and next thing you know you have sex with her and the sex is good and all, now you want to take it further forgetting that she was at the bar drinking in the first place meaning she had a whole lot of things she was holding inside and now you want to marry her problems now you end up with her and all of a sudden she's drinking all the time, talking crazy to you, disrespecting you. And now you're developing this, oh man, I can't stand black women complex. Because you ended up meeting some bad, sexy looking sister at the bar drinking by herself, feeling sorry for herself and you came in and made everything okay but one thing you can't do is you can't change the things that she's been through only she can change those things that is the wrong sister number three the third place where you're not going to meet a good black woman at is rolling through the hood. Now you know what I mean. We call them bops. I live in California. We call them bops. I don't know what you call them. You might call them hood rats, ratchet females, skeezers. Um, um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Head boppers. I don't know what 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 they're being called these days. Video vixens, uh, video hoes, or whatever. I don't know what you call them. But you want to meet this girl and you know she, she living that hood life. You know that most of her family is living that hood life. But you want to make this sister into a potential wife. Hmm, mm, mm. I don't know why you brothers do that. Then you end up with the, hmm, I don't want to date black women complex. Not realizing that you really bought it on your damn, you bought it, excuse me, you brought it on your damn self. With all these bad damn choices you was making. You was trying to find a, a woman in the club. You was trying to find a woman at the bar. And you trying to find a woman walking down the street in the hood. With some booty jeans on. And you wonder why you waking up disappointed? Well, since we got past that part, my brothers, let's get to the good part. Where to find good black women at. Now, if you want to find an educated black female, the first place I would look would be a college. Yeah, higher education. I mean, that would be the first place I would look. I would go to a college and find an educated sister. You know what I mean? Because that's, I think that's most likely where the educated black women hang out at. See? Club, college. Club, college. Club, college see the difference see it's an easy choice now the second good place to find a black woman is if a friend of yours that have good judgment hook you up with her you know because if they're a good friend they won't steer you wrong 
And that's another thing. It's good to have female friends. I have female friends and female sisters that I don't sleep with. They're just friends. And we have that mutual understanding. But they have friends. And they'll hook you up with a good woman. See, that's the good thing about having females for friends. See, there's ways to find a good sister. And number three, most likely at a corporate place or at a place where they give you good wages or it takes a good education to work there. That's another good potential place where you can find black women. All I'm saying is this. If you want a good sister, look where the good sisters hang out at. They're not in the club, brother. They ain't at the bar. And they sure ain't walking down 7th and 4th with some booty shorts on. So you need to come to grips with yourself. And maybe it's something about you that you need to fix. And it's called being attracted to the wrong damn woman. And you know what? You know what's funny about it? Tell me this because, you know, being a black man myself, I see this. I got friends and I, this is what boggles me the most. When a brother look for a black woman, he goes to the club. When he looks for a white woman, he goes to the library. <laughs> and, he, and he wonders why he finds a good white woman, but he doesn't find a good black woman. Because you're looking for the sisters in the club. It, it doesn't, that just boggles me. Like, you know, why, why, why is it, why do we do that, brothers? Why do we do that? Why, when we looking for the sister, we looking for the one with the booty shorts, walking down the street, showing her all, everything? Or are we looking for that lonely sister sitting in the bar with the tight mini skirt on? Or we want to meet, a sister at the club that's, you know, getting dollars rained on her. You know what I mean? But when we look for a white woman, we go to the most subtle places on the planet. We go to the library. <laughs> I just don't get it. But the moral of the story is, if you want to find a good sister and a good black woman, Go to where good sisters and good black women hang out at. And I guarantee you your chances will be a whole lot better. And believe me, my brother, I know. Because I look in the right places for sisters. And it's tons of them. It's tons of them. But for some reason, we're not connecting. You know why? Because you're at the club. And you're not where the good black women are at. That's the problem. Peace. I'm out. Y'all have a wonderful day.